aí, ó. Tá. E aí? Chama ou não chama? Chama, caralho. E essa mão aí? Tá Boa pronta pra dar na cabeça? Calibrada. Então tá bom. Ah. Deus me Calibrada. Lata d'água na cabeça? Deus me livre. <risos> É, a primeira luta que deve ser ruim, né? Porque a, a, o, o, não, tá, o, não tá molhado ainda, aí fica seco, fica escorregando muito. Né, Patã? Eu nunca fiz a primeira luta, não. Fiz, não. Nunca fiz a primeira luta. Não sei, não. Mas você treinou. É, mas tá falando de lutar, pô. É, mas você pensar, pensa assim. Não, pô, lógico, lógico. Né? Faz sentido, mas tá falando de primeira luta. É, o não... cara tira a nota, hein? O cara tira a nota, já, já, já chegou com moral. É isso, preparado. É isso aí. Fazer um treininho agora, mandar uma manoplinha ali com o Liz, fazer uma movimentaçãozinha, de boa, mamãe. Sem se matar. Já me matei bastante. What's up everybody? Today I'm here with double champ. Alex Cotan Pereira. He's gonna show me how to do a left hook. Chama. To get in the ring with Alex is insane. It's it's wild. It's a wild. And he barely touched me. Give me level one out of ten. É, então ela falou, né? Porque ele aprendeu a escutar de esquerda, que pô, é, todo mundo fala, né? E muitas pessoas falam assim, pô, é um cara forte, tal. Mas como mostrei ali, mostrei para ela como se fosse mostrar para um pra um pra um lutador profissional, mostrei da mesma forma. Claro que ela tem as dificuldades dela, entendeu? É, o trabalho dela é outro, mas pô, foi bem ali, né? com alguns minutinhos ali, pô, ela já foi entendendo e se treinar, vai aprendendo, é assim. Como eu passei, muito, um, eu passei o direto antes, né, para você estimular, o cara se defender aqui e achar que vai vir um direto e vir um cruzado. Então esse cruzado ele sai mais forte, porque ele, ele não espera. Quando você está esperando, você consegue se defender e até absorver o golpe melhor, mas quando você não espera, pô... É mais difícil de, de aguentar o golpe. I was scared the entire time. Not that he would do anything, but you just I think it's like a muscle memory of like watching like watching him over and over and over again and then you see him move and you just you know like what to expect. It's, it's scary. Oh, Jesus. It's really scary. I think we're done. That's scary. That's very scary. I don't think you realize how scary he is. But I wish Jamal the best man. Alex is great. Jamal's an amazing fighter, so it's going to be a great, great matchup, and I'm super excited. Vamos a shopping. Ayer recibí la noticia que voy a estar en, en press conference, entonces vamos a comprar una ropa bonita pues, para estar bien presentable en el día de, de press conference. I'm so excited for the opportunity fighting in UFC 300. It's the big opportunity for my career. I'm working hard every day for Saturday night. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the win. We're going to do a couple outfits. My wife, she always starts with the shoes and then works her way up. Something she kind of taught me. So we're going to start with the shoes and then work our way up. So it should be good. Bien, me gusta. Sabe por qué me gusta? Porque el gold. El gold y por mi cadena. La nueva. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Those are all set. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Appreciate Thank you. you. Okay, good luck. ¿Qué quieres? Yo, 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 con, yo te meto. ¿Qué quieres? Con los morenos, rubio, pero rubia con, con los rojos. ¿Eh? Yo creo que te queda, te queda bien. Yo te meto uno. Got in the last week. Nice to come here and settle in a little bit earlier. Calm before the storm last week, and now here we are, about to get in the eye of the storm. Right now, Jermaine Sterling, and my expectations are to go and get my hand raised by any means necessary. Here he comes. I care very little about my opponent. It's more about making sure I'm ready on fight date for whoever I'm going to step in there against. I'm excited and grateful just to have another opportunity to go compete at the highest level and just go and put on a performance worthy of such a historic card. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Have fun. I will. Thank you. We're all here to see this beautiful stadium. We're going to see a lot of that today, but this tour is about something more interesting than just that. Today, you will discover the heart, spirit, and soul of the most loved team in the National Football League. We're over at the Legion Stadium. We're having the tour right now, and the stadium tour, and it's just amazing, man. Seeing some cool stuff. It's very Raider, but it's very Vegas at the same time, so it's amazing. It looks sick. It feels like I'm in a hotel, like a high-class hotel. You just need a couple casinos. I think you, you figure it out. This, this one is amazing, brother. This is cool. Like I said, UFC, we need to have a fight here. I want my locker room to be in here. <laughs> Just win, baby. That's the best. We're at the UFC PI. Just feeling the air, it's different here. Um, all the work is done. I feel confident, I feel ready. Just going, going through the motions a couple more times before, before the big night. It's fight week, we're here. UFC 300, big show. Kayla Harrison making her UFC debut. Best fighter on the planet, monster, right? Time to show the world what's up. Mike is he's a great person and great coach and I feel very blessed to have him in my corner and to have him in my life. I've been with him from the beginning. Very first fight was with Mike Brown. Holly is tough, one of the toughest matchups you could possibly get, but she's ready for all comers. Send him her way, she's ready. I feel great, you know, honestly, I feel calm. I feel very peaceful, lots of joy. And I think that's the beautiful thing about my team is that they are my family, you know, so I'm really blessed to have such good people in my corner. This is the Kayla Harrison week, you know, two-time Olympic champion, one-time world champion. But the key is just to go out there and do what she's supposed to do, dominate, and uh, one more fight closer to become a UFC champion. <gasps> Bo Nickel, UFC 300, let's go. I mean, he's obviously a special athlete with a, you know, uh, sky's the limit with this guy. Keep your eyes open, you know, big things coming. Monday, feeling really good. Just my first workout in Vegas and uh, feeling sharp. You know, I think I'm just going to keep feeling better and better uh, as the week continues. You know, for me, it's just business as usual. I feel um, ready to go. I feel prepared. You know, I'm excited to perform and grateful to have the platform that I do. You know, I'm going to go show out. For me, it's more just about continue to improve, get better, and uh, build my reputation. You know, they're going to get to know me real soon. I'm fighting Cody Brundage. You know, it's a good matchup. He's the first wrestler that I fought, so you know, I'm prepared for all of that. You know, I'm just excited to go out there and be free and do my thing. Hello. <laughs> Fight the week. Usually we'll come in, we have our time. There's no more people than normal. Like, I mean, there's a lot of people here, but it's just, she's the champ. Everybody wants to see what the champ's doing. Okay. Uh, tonight we'll do a little bit of technical work, we'll do some pads to sharpen up, you know, get her sweat going. We'll start getting things, you know, moving for making weight. <laughs> 呃不没有去想着去用力因为用力的话感觉也没有力量这也是我一直在追求的然后很开心然后这次可以跟小南比赛我觉得然后这次呢肯定是一场精彩的比赛因为也是呃 Very good. Uh, Luke's always my warm up. He's like a fun punching bag. Me and him have been together for so long. Even before Trevor was in my corner, he's a big part of my team. Big part of keeping the atmosphere uh, what I needed to be, which is you know calm, cool, relaxed, and dangerous. And he's a good part of that. He's really controlling the flow and the grappling. He's on fire right now. We got all the coaches here right now. Everybody's energy, like this is, this is the best team I've ever been on. The way everybody works together, you can see Justin just strives off it. He trusts his shape. 
He looks so freaking good. We're in the best place right now. We didn't spike the heart rate too much, but it was just constant work for what seemed like an hour and 30 minutes. We were just going back over our knees, our elbows, our kick combinations. And so it's just a good workout. I'm just really trying to get a sweat in. My favorite part of all this is getting in front of that crowd and under those lights and getting my adrenaline pumping. So it's soon to come.